I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Wemis, IFL TV, IFizzle, can I say. Anthony, I joins me in Telford, mate. It's good to see you. Um, a fight week for yourself, but first off, how's things? Things are good. Things are good. Things are great. Things are fantastic. Just ready for Saturday now. What sort of mindset do you go into this with? Because it's the fight before the fight. I know kind of everyone you've spoken to this week is going to be banging on about that. Um, and I suppose the fight before the fight is where slip up would be most painful. So what sort of mentality do you go into this fight with? Same mentality, I always go into a fight with win, seeking the destroy, be entertaining, win by knockout. Um, I'm an entertaining fighter, so I said it before. <laughs> After that tragedy they done, when they, you know, when they gave Lyndon Alfred that first, um, first victory, I said, all right, okay. So yeah, I just thought I'm just back, I'm back, I'm back to myself. Is that kind of important for you then to kind of do that seek and destroy and kind of make a statement as well? Because regardless of the man in the other corner, sometimes, again, I'll say the fight before the fight, people want to get rounds in and kind of work on a few things. But for you, it's the same at the yard. We're seek, we're destroy, and we're going to go and do what we do best. Well, um, if you're working on something, then um, I'm working on winning a fight by knockout. I'm working on being entertaining. So that's what I'm working on. So whether that comes off, um, or whatever round that comes off, should I say. Because it's, def it's definitely happening. Do you know too much about the man in the other corner other than, of course, his record? We know his record. That's what I'm saying. Say, I'm a person, I don't take no one lightly. There's nothing of, nothing of him on YouTube. Nothing. And he's got, I think he's had um, 14 fights and, and knocked out 12. So that's, that's, not a, that's not a joke. I'm not going in there thinking, oh yeah, we walk over a man. and I'm going in there shot. I'm going in there again. They're saying the next potential fight is, is a massive one or the biggest possible one, same mentality. Can that be a blessing and a curse when there's not so much footage of someone? Because you, I suppose sometimes people can overstudy a fighter, but when there's not much, it is just you and him getting in there and, and going at it. So can it be a blessing and a curse in a way? I don't know what you mean about no curse. <laughs> Everything for me Blessings is only? Blessings only. If you look at my career, if you look at my life, it's always been blessings. It's always been blessings. I, the way I started my career, no, nobody said I would be here because I, I had no experience. I started late, so everything's a blessing. I'm going to talk about the big one now, of course, Baturbiev, um, only around the corner. Um, I know he'll be watching on Saturday night kind of eagerly to see what you've got, even though you've had bigger and more meaningful fights than, than the one on Saturday night. Um, is that something that you even care about, whether Baturbiev's watching or not? Look, the fight's going to happen if you come through, so do you even care about something like that? Absolutely not. Like, but Terviev is obviously going to be on my mind, but he's not on my mind right now, if that makes sense. Because he was on my mind before because he had the belts. Um, as soon as he was, he was in like, reach, in terms of having the belts or whatever, he's been on my mind, but it's the same, he goes to the back of my mind before Saturday. On Saturday, Kwekov is my only focus. I don't want to prod too much because, like you said, Saturday is your only focus, but you've got Bivol beating Ramirez and there's so much going on about the undisputed fight and people were kind of tagging it as Bivol and Baturbiev in the trade. Would a win here and then a win against Baturbiev kind of be a massive two fingers to everyone? Fuck you, that's not what you thought. Is that kind of what you're looking at, to kind of give the two fingers and be sitting there in February with every single belt? Um, again, I'm not a person that... Um, I don't really focus on proving anyone wrong. I focus on being the best version of myself. And I genuinely believe when I'm the best version of myself, I beat any light heavyweight out there. I've said this from earlier in my career and I say this again now. The best version of me beats anybody. I've got all the tools. Um, the only thing that was lacking for me is experience. And again, as each fight I have, that's more experience. Different scenarios, different, different styles. You know, everything's just different. So every time I get into the ring, it's better for me. Maybe this is one I should ask Frank, but I'll ask you just in case because he's not here. Is there kind of a date and a venue set? I know there's rumours around certain dates and it's going to be London, O2, Wembley Arena, whatever. Can you give us something a little bit more concrete? 
Um, I think when it comes out, it comes out. I think there's going to be an announcement after this fight. So I'll leave it until then. Um, all I will say is contracts have been signed. So that's exciting. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.